start better perspection inside of the cab. First of all, seat belt. Is the mounting secure? No rip, no frayed, no crack. And lock latch should be on and off, working properly. And then you have to leave the seat belt on. The windows, roll down, roll up, working properly and should be clean. The mirrors should be properly adjusted to you. No crack, no damage, clean. Windshield, no crack, no damage, no illegal stickers, clean. Wipers, the wiper uh, arm uh, mounting secure, no physical damage. And the wiper blade pro properly attached to the windshield, no torn. Next one, we have to check the ABS lights on the dashboard. You have to turn ignition on, lights is on, should be off, which means working properly. Then the switch for the wipers with the washer fluid windshield, pressing, make sure it's working properly. Then turn signal lights, indicators, turn signal indicators to the right, to the left, four-way flasher lights, working properly. And the switch for the headlights on and the high beam, which mm -hmm. is working properly on the dashboard over here at the switch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next one, we have to check defroster and the heater system. You turn to combined position, defrost the heat of the legs, turn the heat on, turn the fan on, make sure the air blowing in the top, which is defroster working properly and the air blowing in the bottom which is the the, uh, the heat of the legs working properly next one we have to check emergency equipment we have the fire extinguisher properly secured to the floor and fully charged up to date three reflective triangles in the red box properly secured to the floor and the spare electrical fuses is over here Next one, we have to demonstrate the safety start. Make sure the parking br brake is applied position, transmission in neutral position. Then you have to press the brake and start the engine on. So the next test, we have to check the governor. We have to press a couple times to brakes to drop the air around 19 PSI. And then you have to build up the system again to 120 psi. Make sure the governor is cut all the air in the system. When the system is fully charged. Okay. Did you hear the sound? Hmm? Did you hear the sound? Social Zorkups. Okay. That means the gallon working properly, system is fully charged, 120 psi. Now we have to turn the engine off. And the next test, we have to check air brake leaking system. Mm -hmm. Turn ignition on. Press and hold the brakes all the way down. And release parking brake truck and trailer. You have to wait when the air is going to be stabilized in the system. It's still leaking. Okay, now you have to be start to count your 60 seconds. Use your watch or cell phone. minutes pass you have to say not lost more than four pizza per minute no leaking next test you have to check low air warning devices you have to fanning brake pedal until to 60 psi buzzer signal and red light should be on mm -hmm. system is working properly next one we have to check the emergency spring brake we have to continue fanning brake pedal until to 40 20 psi uh, both knobs should be automatically pops out is working.
working properly. Now we have to build up the system again to 120 psi to check our parking brake truck, trailer and the handle valve of the trailer. Start the engine. So now we have to turn the steering wheel. Make sure the wheels is going to be straight and if you should to check your service brake. Steering wheel, free play, no more than 10 degree. CD horn, working properly. Now you have to be described all gauges in front of you. Water temperature gauge. Should be normal operating range, no any warning signals. Oil pressure gauge. Should be normal operating range, no any warning signals. Transmission fluid temperature. Normal operating range, no any warning signals. Tachometer, you have to press the accelerator make sure the arrow raise up is working properly speedometer you will check when you're driving uh, voltmeters normal operating range between 12 to 14 we have around 13.9 fuel gauge indicates how many fuel we have in the fuel tank air brake gauges we have primary and the secondary normal operating range 120 psi now you have to press Accelerator around thousand rotation per minute. Hold and wait and smile. system is, is really charged. Now we have to check parking brake of the tractor. You have to press the brake, put it the dry position of this mission and release parking brake of the trailer. Then you have to press accelerator, truck is now moving, parking brake of the tractor working properly. Now we have to check parking brake of the trailer. We have to be apply and release parking brake of the tractor. I have to press accelerator. Uh, the truck is not moving. Parking brake of the trailer working properly. Now we have to be apply the handle valve of the trailer and release parking brake of the trailer. We try to move forward. Vehicle is not moving. Handle valve of the trailer working properly. Before to check our service brake 50 feet, you have to build up the system again to 120 psi. You have to apply the parking brake, put it in neutral, release handle handle valve of the trailer, and press accelerator. system is fully charged 120 psi now we have to check service brake 50 feet with the dry position release parking brake truck to the trailer try to move forward the speedometer working properly then you have to press gently to the brakes make sure that the truck is not rolling either size service brake working properly put it in neutral and parking brake Ready for the next step.